Welcome back to Trending on Shaw. There's a look at our weather across the country. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> we are it's here. Uh, Sean Robinson joins us. He's the pharmacy manager at London Drugs. We also have Rose DeVry, DeVry yeah. um, from the Lotus Herbal manager at Lotus, Lotus Herbal. And uh, Kim Hayden with us, who hosts uh, Kim's Kitchen here on Shaw TV. Welcome all of you. Uh, we have some goodies here. We'll share with you about that in just a few moments. But there's a number of other things that are trending in our city this morning, including pedal pushers. Well, how do we say this? Mm -hmm. If you're familiar with the Cochrane area, well, there's two other young adults who are familiar with it as mm -hmm. well, too. And they use it as a drag strip. Yeah, I think a little fast. I think this will always be an issue where teens can drive or people get their driver's <laughs> license and can drive. And adults, maybe, right? Well, these are, what were they, uh, 21 and 26. So Young they were, adults. There's young adults. Yeah. Those, those, those kids. <laughs> I remember speeding when I got my license because it was cool. Like, it was like, look how fast I can go. Huh? So I don't blame these guys. You know, Rose, mm -hmm. you're one of our guests. There's <laughs> a closet speeder. Now, let's be honest, Rose. When you were, you were in your youth, yeah. You like to push the pedal a little bit, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm, I'm a really a sports person. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching sports and I'm on the wheel, just like, it's, just love it. It's, it's fun, it's addictive. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But it's dangerous. Did you get too many speeding tickets? Oh yes, <laughs> I do. Yeah. So I mean, we can laugh a little bit about going, mm -hmm. you know, fast. But these guys were going like 200 kilometers an hour. Oh, that's it poses ridiculous. a risk. It poses yeah, a danger. Yeah. So there, there are controlled um, uh, race groups around the city. I know my son who. <laughs> goes to, and then my other son goes and pulls him out of ditches. Yeah. But there are, and there's actually police on site and such, making sure that the crowd is controlled. Since Reese City closed down, mm -hmm. they actually are finding alternatives, so they don't have to go on a public streetway in Cochrane and yeah. you know risk running over somebody's granny. Is it mostly guys who do this? Um, maybe they're a little more extreme, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't count on girls either. I think it's a either. testosterone thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a testosterone thing. Although I was, I, does bad driving count as speeding? Because you typically, <laughs> that's oh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, well, if you're not into the driving thing, cycling is actually becoming more popular with adults in our city. What? Uh, whereas kids aren't uh, on the bikes as much as maybe we were when we were younger. Well, we wrap our kids up in bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. We don't allow them to do anything let alone ride a bike. Is that part of the issue, Sean? A little bit of it, but you know, my kids, they're into the biking. And just last week, I had to pull them out of the shed. It was plus 16, and we went for a couple days of, of biking around stuff like that. So I don't know. It's I don't, depending on your parenting level, where you're growing up, which part of the city, inner city, in the suburbs and stuff like that. Some people just don't have uh, the, the access to go bike riding, maybe. Yeah, we talk about health and nutrition, but yeah. part of health and nutrition mm -hmm. is getting out there and doing something physical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, the mayor's saying we should go for a walk, but yeah. for heaven's sakes, yeah. you know, like your daughter Betty, I'm sure she was riding her bike when oh, she yeah. was a little one. Yeah, 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 all the time. You know, go to university and just bike there. Yeah. You know, it's good to exercise. It's good to get your adrenal going and, uh, you know, more concentration yeah. if you in the physical. Yeah. But why are less people doing this, Kim? Why are less kids doing this? I think we're. Aren't they following, the, following adults and parents and. Parents get home, they're tired. They're yeah. tired, they're watching TV. The kids so parents are to blame. Is no, that what you're saying? No, I'm saying it's, it's <laughs> a society, it's a society yeah. okay. issue. It really is. Um, it goes back to... Well, you can't just let your kids go out and bike riding. You have to join them these days, right? You can't be just letting your kids nowadays, out there. Yeah, nowadays. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. like going, if anybody wants one of, one of my kids, they'll be returning <laughs> yeah. it quickly, trust me. Um, nowadays, everybody, you're right. They, yeah. We're helicopter parenting, yeah. so we'd rather helicopter parent around the TV than outside or doing yeah. an activity. Um, I also think just the confusion of joining up with activities, like trying to join the swim club, trying to join all these different things, is a challenge for a lot of people, especially immigrants who come. I find the lingo challenging, you know, the mm -hmm. voluntold uh, variety of things you have to do. So if you're coming in and it's a second language. Yeah, it's like it's swim club you were saying last night. My wife had just told me. She was trying oh, to yeah. look for a place to get my kids in the swim club. Cascade, there, there's yeah. hardly any places in it. Whatever there is, it's all super, super high and competitive. It's very, yes. very right? expensive. And expensive. And expensive. And and yeah. you're, you're looking at probably close to 40 or 50 hours in volunteering wow. minimum. And that's wow. voluntold. You're, you're right. And that sort of dovetails yeah, into the next, yeah. next topic here trending this morning as well, too. Calgary kids less active than adults in their 50s. And part and parcel is because of the, the, the access, the into gaining yeah. into enter, the entering into these activities 
because it's more difficult, more costly, yeah. less kids, less active. That doesn't surprise me at all. A lack of facilities to get into. Like, you try to get into, I'm in the north, get into Cardell Place, you're on the internet at 7 a.m. in the morning, and if you don't click right away and get in there, and you have to open up three different browsers to get in, you're not in and you have to wait another six months before they open up spaces for your kids again, right? It's well, just that's in common is the country in some ways better the government supporting it. They found yeah. it great. Yeah. All the background, all the school backyard, you know, and all the athletes, you know, just like it's just daily kind of food kind of thing, you know, you just join it in and having fun, you know, it's always out, you know, the kids. Yeah, and it's not about the parent. It's not about the parent. Oh, I, I, wa I wish I had been a cheerleader. Uh, you're going to be a cheerleader. <laughs> I wish I had been a pro athlete of some sort, so you're going to be a pro athlete. It's about finding the healthy balance. Um, I think that it probably kids nowadays partially don't have the energy because we've got them so medicated so they're easy to educate that then they go home, they're tired, and but they can't sleep. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's, it, we're in a, a almost a scary cycle for our kids. Uh, our, one of our panelists as well too is Rose DeVries, who is the manager at Lotus Herbal. Lotus Herbal, I, 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 have, I can, you know, I'll be honest with you, I've never been there before. Yeah. So if I come for the first time, what will I discover? Okay, so we're, uh, we're saturated in the uh, Kingsland's Farmer's Market, in, and now they changed the name called the Farmer's on the, uh, the market on, on <laughs> Mark on the McLeod. McLeod. Yeah. Yeah. McLeod, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so uh, when you first come, I first, uh, we're very individual. We train our staff, very ed educated staff. We'll say, um, Phoenix, so nice to see you, and can I give you a hand? You know, with that words, they were, they're yes. very, very <laughs> easy come out to share with your personal experience. Could the cold, frequency cold, could it be emotion problem, could it be sleeping problems, and we have a, we have a high end of stuff, right? Really, really high end. That means there and means make the difference in people's life. You know? Modern yeah. elixirs. Okay. That's how you're you're you're, you're suggesting yeah. that your places for modern type of elixirs, modern yeah, solutions. Yeah, Everybody on the solutions. smoothies. In my country, real food like like a chunk of uh, vegetables you cook and lightly cook it. Right, still preserve all the nutrients in there, still enzymes in there. But nowadays, my daughter said, I have uh, smoothies in the morning. I said, what is that? <laughs> and I, you know, in my generation, younger generation, more and more smoothies. And uh, then I beginning to learn, it tastes pretty good, it tastes pretty good. So I have uh, three stories to tell, you know, to share with you today, very short stories. First of all, it's a fermentation. And in China, we have a fermentation. Right and the countryside, we don't have a refrigerator, so it fermented everything. Especially right. countryside, people really, really no money, and you know, they don't have a refrigerator. So they come to the city to work. I observing them, they have a rosy cheeks and twinkle eyes, and engage the conversation. Mm -hmm. and, and that is, is there is a power in behind it, joy, you know. Then then they move to the city. Uh, slowly, slowly, the face just become more and more pale. And I said, what is this? Then I realized they don't eat the fermented food as much. What is fermented? It's probiotics, right? It's surviving our whole body, right? It's 80% in our body. It's good bacteria, bad. It's 20 is bad bacteria. It's the balanced, right. right? So they lack of a good bacteria. And that's a very, very big, big concept in there. And uh, this is a fermentation. It's right in this uh, jar Can here. Go on to that? Yeah. So what are we what are we looking at here? This is a greens. Shape? They this is only one company. It's called Green Plus. They produce of the greens. It's a fermented greens. That means pre-digested. Your body don't have to digest it again. They already break it down the substances so directly go to your blood. It doesn't look yummy. Doesn't look yummy. <laughs> it doesn't. I have a chaga in there. Chaga is another story. Chaga, okay. uh, chaga is grow in the on the birch tree in the wild, and you can pick them yourself in the Rocky Mountains. And I will teach you how to break them down, how to use it. But this is already break the them down, and they already uh, the, the, the chit you know this uh, medicinal mushroom has the chitin structures. All the nutrition locked into the chitins. They cannot uh, come out of that mm. easily. So this company will be able to use a pressure kind of system to uh, cracking cracking the cell wall. So all the nutrition be accessed. And the second one, they use the mycelium. Mycelium is the the seeds shooting under the ground. This one here? 
Yeah, this one. So this one here. Uh, yeah, okay. In the chaga, you know, yeah. the process. The mycelium, they said the mycelium even more nutrients, but they, they are on the layers of the dirt, like a web. You can collect them in the older, older way. So now this company, they has such a technology, they will be able to collect the mycelium, the nutrients for grow another medicinal mushrooms. So then they throw into the fermentation, another substance only through the fermentation. Now the combination with two together. So here is we using for morning, you know, you have all the green vegetables and fermentation and the chaga. Right. The Olympic train on it, you know, in my country. So, and Well, yeah. Rose, we're, we're, yeah. I know because there's so much here that we yeah. have here. And the great thing is that you brought in all of these things. The good news is that you can go to, uh, again, it's called the name Lotus of your place. Herbal. Lotus Herbal, okay. You two, how are you feeling about this? The Greens Plus, I'm actually very familiar with. We had sold it at London Drugs, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. See, yeah. even London Drugs is realizing. Well, we have no problem getting some natural stuff out there for sure. Yeah. 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 I'm it's just it. listening well, to that. That's where aspirin came from, right? It's like fermentation. Mm -hmm. Doesn't wine ferment? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm good. I live to hundreds. <laughs> Are these things that we could use in combination with uh, sort of the modern side of medicine as well? For sure. Um, yeah. You still have to be a little bit careful. Like if you are on other medication as well too, we do have access to resources to check to see if there's any drug drug interactions with current medication you're taking because yeah. there is actually yeah. a lot of medication yeah. or drug interactions with some of the herbal stuff out there so you do yeah. have to be a little bit careful as yeah. well too so check with the as doctors, long as you're asking yeah, yeah. yeah. talk with your doctors your yeah. pharmacist the third one and and uh, is the rishi i just quickly saw a story uh, eight mm -hmm. years old a little girl came to <coughs> me this year. Yeah. yeah you call and it rishi yeah it's a red rishi mushrooms okay. with uh, uh with a uh, uh, goji berry in there oh. with a uh, <laughs> beets I like goji uh, red beets in there it's all good for the athlete right and you know uh, that red rich in my culture is really really using for balancing your immune uh, immune system and really good for heart conditions and blood pressure and uh, um, also they really good for stress really really yeah. good for stress that's red rich and eight years the little little girl came to me said okay i'm stressed i'm on the figure skating and uh, i can't make a mistake and she cried you know oh. and uh, uh, then the second time i came i said to the girl I said what is bothers you today she said that uh, people judging me and she cry again and I told her I said do you dream she said yes I said do you remember your dream sometimes I said dream is real I said no it's not real and then I said okay so other people's judgment self judgment is just like a dream but the child understand but the adult it's being programmed the program we had to deprogram it takes a longer time to do that medicinal machine will help achieve that well, I'll say one thing. I'm going to be visiting this young lady to find out <laughs> more about this. This is fascinating stuff. Uh, Rose DeVries, manager at Lotus Herbal. Because of time, we have to move along here. But fantastic stuff. Again, <laughs> find you on McLeod Trail. Yeah, McLeod Trail on the just due south and turn off uh, on the 78th Avenue. And you see right away on the road. It's called the, the market on the McLeod. Lotus Herbal. Lotus Herbal. Great stuff, eh? Very interesting. We're going to move over to, uh, well, switching gears quite a bit here. Uh, a new trend in our city is uh, dodgeball. So we went to the Calgary Sport and Social Club, and it, this is their fastest growing sport. So I went and hung out with them for a night. Take a look. On any given weeknight, in any given gym around the city, you might run into some people playing dodgeball, an old school sport that's seen a resurgence in our city. We're at the Calgary Sport and Social Club and it's their fastest growing sport. It started with only 24 teams and in 2014 we actually had over 400 dodgeball teams, adult dodgeball teams. Um, it's just a fun way of being able to get out and just as an adult it's fun to say that you play dodgeball. Does it remind you of being a kid? It does. Uh, I think that's what happened is we uh, started out in volleyball and we brought it to dodgeball because we're like we kind of want to bring it back to the childhood. This is one of our higher divisions and um, the way it works is if you throw the ball and hit somebody um, they're out um, and if you catch the ball the person that threw the ball is out so those are the basic rules so you can play from recreational all the way up to our more competitive divisions um, so even if you were like the last person picked in school um, there's definitely something for everyone because we have all different kinds of divisions for you to choose from that was me <laughs> I'm gonna try yeah I'm a little nervous what do you think <laughs> oh you're gonna you're gonna love it watch you won't even leave <laughs> Yep. And I was this close. What did I do wrong? Uh, you made one of the main 
first time or mistakes is you threw a lob ball and threw it high in the air and came down. Yeah. I want to keep it low to the ground. You want to get it right down below the kneecaps. Rookie mistake. It just takes sort of one hit to realize like, oh, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. The companionship and the fun. I mean, we didn't know any of our opponents when we started. And now most of the people we play across from every night are friends of ours. I think people are drawn to dodgeball. Uh, it's just so much fun. And I'm, it's easy to say, but when you try it, it's actually so addicting. It's one of our most easily addicted sports you can, you can get to. <laughs> No, no, Kate, we don't mean to laugh at you, but that was really, really funny. Uh, I had to leave that in there. Did Why you not? Sean right? said? No. He said you throw like a girl. No, that wasn't no. me. Was that you? <laughs> no. oh, I think Rosa. that was Kim. Kim said that. And I agree. But you do kind She's of, a yeah. girl. I didn't know that until I had I came back and was watching it back. And The rules are oh. duck, dodge, dive, and dodge. Well, I didn't do that very well. <laughs> okay, that yeah. like a lot of fun. <laughs> um, our trending poll question this morning, we're asking you to get involved and to vote. Are kids healthier today than 25 years ago? That's our question this morning. Here's how you're voting. A part of me is not huh. surprised. Wow. Everyone wow. is saying, wow. no, kids are not healthier today than 25 years ago. Wow. Post your answer on Twitter or Facebook. You'll find the link to our trending poll question at Trending on Shaw. Uh, we're going to take a break, but uh, still more to come later this week. On Thursday, we're going to be building Lego, so I guess that's <gasps> tomorrow. Uh, Friday, we're at the Boat and Sportsman Show, and then Monday, we're talking food fermentation Food again. fermentation, Rose. Yes. Look at that. Oh, I like that. Tune in Monday. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, we'll take a quick break, but we'll be back soon. You're watching Trending on Shaw.